Hello, I'm going to show you how to paint the rainbow ice cream cone. This is 11 inch by 14 inch canvas and we are going to jump right in and get started. So I am first going to trace the ice cream cone onto the canvas. Um, this is my drawing of the ice cream cone and that drawing is on my website for you to print out. It is above a sheet of graphite paper with the shiny side down. So um, if you have ever done this before, you understand how when you trace the drawing, the drawing will transfer to the canvas, okay? And for sizing reasons, the whole tip of that ice cream cone sh could not fit on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And that can easily be fixed by using a straight edge or a ruler. And I made that the bottom tip kind of curve just a bit, okay? So next we're gonna jump right into the background and you'll need the colors primary red and titanium white loaded on your palette. You'll need a three quarter inch flat brush dipped in the water, pat dry, and you see me double loading that brush. That means that I dipped it in both the colors red and white. Um, about equal parts to start out with and then kind of guess and see okay so maybe if it's too light then add a little bit more red in there if it's too red add a little bit more white but I want the colors to mix on the canvas so I'm not blending them on the palette I'm letting them blend on the canvas to create this sort of streaky sort of look and this background is going to be the entire um, it's all going to be the same technique so short up and down strokes jagged on the edges um, full width some side width colors blending streaks of white streaks of pure red so we're going to go to the next color cad orange hue is the next color and it uh, magically loaded on my palette there and you're gonna load the brush without rinsing it in the cad orange and the titanium white. And you're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna let that orange kind of blend in with that red. And the way to get it to blend is to allow the paint to stay wet and it does wet on wet blending. So the part where that orange paints over the red, that's how it blends. And another tip is I am not loading a lot of paint on my brush. So when I go to reload, I'm just kind of tapping it in the paint. I'm not scooping up a big chunk of paint because it's going to be harder to blend all that if you have a ton of paint on that brush. So I'm just kind of tapping it in there to reload. And so um, with the orange, I'm almost about halfway up the canvas here. Keep in mind that when we go to yellow, we're gonna be painting back over some of that orange. So uh, that whole big chunk of orange is not gonna be all orange. It's gonna be yellow that's kind of painted over. So that's what's happening here. The colors are kind of overlapping each other. So for the primary yellow, which is the next color in the rainbow, um, do rinse that brush. So get all that red off of that brush. So we have a nice clean brush now, pat it dry, load it in the primary yellow and the white. So you, we still wanna use titanium white all throughout this background. Um, the titanium white helps it to blend. It helps the colors kind of mute a little bit so they're not um, super vibrant. And um, it kind of gives some interesting color variations, some streaks of white. Um, so I'm doing basically the same thing. I'm um, painting the same kind of strokes, to getting that yellow to blend in with the orange. And um, I think it was, I didn't mention it, but I'm not painting the ice cream cone. So I'm painting this whole background and I'm going around the ice cream cone. There might be some spots where you kind of kind of have to paint over it a little bit just because of the direction of the strokes you're going in. It's not going to be very feasible to contour that if you're if the strokes are all going vertical. So you don't want to you, you can cover the ice cream cone a little bit and you can see how I did that and that'll be OK. It's not going to mess anything up. So our next color in the rainbow is light green permanent. Rinse off the brush, pat dry, double load the light green permanent 
in a white and light green permanent. Do the same exact thing. Brush over gently with the yellow. Um, it might be a little harder because the green is darker than the yellow, so it might be a little bit trickier to blend that green. If you need to, um, you might have seen me already, you can go and load the previous color in. So if I really wanted to get this to blend some more, I could dip my brush in some more yellow and kind of brush it down. I did that earlier with uh, the red color where I brushed it back in with the other color after I switched to orange. So you're allowed to go back and let um, and use the other, the previous color to help it blend. And if you need to freshen your titanium white, feel free to do that. I did not, that wasn't a good example. I still have my um, original glob of titanium white on there. It has all the other colors that have been dipped in there. So, um, don't be afraid to go ahead and freshen that white if you need to. Okay, so the next color in the rainbow is primary blue and rinse the brush, pat it dry, double load primary blue in titanium white. Do the same thing, blend it in with the green, short up and down strokes. And uh, by now I am at pretty much the top of the painting. And um, I will do purple too. So I'm gonna leave at least a little bit of space at the top for purple. And I'm gonna speed this up just a bit here. When I go over that top scoop, I'm gonna do some really, really short blue strokes here in seconds. So um, right there. So little tiny short strokes just to kind of um, outline the top part of the scoop. So the final color is dioxazine purple. Rinse your brush, brush off, pat it dry, double load the dioxazine with the white. Um, you'll find with the dioxazine that you do not need a lot of white in there because it, um, it's a very, strong color and the white um, kind of mutes it really fast. So just a little bit of white with that dioxazine purple, blend it down into the blue. And then with the remainder of your colors on the palette, you can paint the sides of your painting. You won't see me do that in this video, but basically I just used the rest of the colors and painted um, the sides, okay? So let's go and paint in the ice cream. I worked from the top down. So I started with the chocolate syrup part at the top scoop and I used a round brush and the color Burnt Sienna. So um, that is any brown will work for that. I just happened to grab burnt sienna. Um, it's kind of a reddish brown and it. I thought it would work well for this color, but if you have a different brown, you can do that. And I'm using a round brush to kind of paint that in. So that's just the part of the drawing. Um, kind of just painting it in like a coloring book right now. Super easy. A few, um, did two coats here. And then I ended up doing another coat later. And then um, while I still have the brow nice and wet on my palette, I went ahead and painted the cone. So I used a 12 flat for the cone. That's a flat brush. So um, it's smaller than the three quarter flat. It's uh, about a quarter inch, I think. And then I painted the cone, so just the burnt sienna, and then I used the tip of the brush to kind of outline the cone, and then I filled it in solid with that color. So I'm going to speed this video up just a little bit here and go silent for a few seconds while I fill in this triangle with that burnt sienna. And then, so you don't need to do this, but I did this because it was bothering me that burnt sienna is so um, translucent that I wanted to add some um, unbleached titanium, which is a very opaque color. 
and I just let I just loaded my brush in that without rinsing it I painted it on the burnt sienna I let it blend with the burnt sienna of course that burnt sienna was not dry so ideally um, it was wet on wet blending so it gives the ice cream cone kind of a more opaque look and also a different shade of brown than the top part of the chocolate syrup again very minor detail you do not have to do that if you don't want to but if um, the if you want to kind of alter the color a little bit there um, it's kind of fun to blend in that unbleached titanium in there to make it a nice opaque brown okay so we're gonna go ahead and do the cherry so I did the cherry with primary red and a round brush and I just painted that circle in nice and solid then we can always go back and do another coat on the cherry as well um, so we're done with the round brush rinse it set it to the side and go back to your 12 flat we're going to do the top ice cream scoop and i did that with unbleached titanium and titanium white so the sort of um, off-white color and the white and i'm going to kind of swirl those two colors together this reminded me of ice cream so just um, so both of those colors I just took my 12 flat and I kind of swirled them together on the canvas essentially I'm double loading the brush in both colors and I am going to paint my top ice cream scoop in so um, I guess you can say that I'm kind of painting this in like a coloring book but I don't want it to look too much like I painted a coloring book so I want to pay attention to my direction of the strokes here because that's something I can control is the way the strokes look and because this is ice cream um, my strokes kind of represent the texture of ice cream so they're kind of um, going in different curved directions the way ice cream would would look when you scoop in an ice cream there's a lot of um, curves in the scoop and so you see me also switching to that round brush because there's some tight areas there to get around that chocolate syrup. So I'm kind of filling in the, the little cracks there between the chocolate syrup drippings. Um, but essentially you wanna kind of just get your strokes to go kind of rounded so you can sort of see the texture in there of the colors. And the colors are not um, completely blended together. There's a little bit of streaks of white and streaks of titanium it's not completely solid one color and so this is supposed to represent vanilla ice cream at the top okay um, my middle scoop was done with dioxazine purple and primary red and the flat so I did the same thing I had those two colors I swirled them together on the canvas on the, the palette and they're not um, blended all the way. So I'm doing this middle scoop and you can kind of see, look at how my 12 flat is going. It's just kind of curving, um, going in kind of all different directions, almost like you're painting a, a fluffy cloud, um, only it's not a cloud, it's ice cream. And so they're kind of curving and contouring with the shape. And of course we have this part on the top that, um, because the scoop is under the top scoop. So we want to kind of make sure we outline that correctly to make it look like that vanilla scoop is on top. Um, so, and I, the middle part, I'm just kind of uh, making these, I'm using the full width of the brush, just kind of curving the stroke, going in in all different directions. And I grabbed a chunk of white in there, not a chunk, but maybe a little bit of white on my tip. And that white just kind of um, adds to the, the fluffiness of that texture. and. Um, letting that white kind of blend in but not blending in all the way so if you keep painting if you keep painting it's all gonna blend in all the way okay so let me explain my crazy palette here because uh, my palettes tend to go crazy and in this painting there's no exception here but I'm going to make a um, pistachio color ice cream scoop next for the bottom scoop a mint chocolate chip and um, so I did that with light green permanent primary blue and titanium white so um, about equal parts of light green permanent and titanium white but just a little tiny dot of primary blue blend those together and you get the mint chocolate chip or pistachio 
color ice cream. And you can kind of see what I'm doing. When I go and reload my brush, I don't load it in the exact same proportions because I want the colors to look kind of inconsistent and it kind of adds to the interest in that scoop. So it's not just a solid color, it's just kind of a blended. So we have some streaks of white in there and some streaks of more pure green, a little bit more blue in there. So that's kind of the point. And then of course, I still wanna have my strokes go curved, um, but you still kinda wanna outline and define the, the part where the scoop is, uh, the bumpy parts on the top and bottom. So I'm using the brush to outline that area. But in the middle part, I kinda go crazy and. Uh, make my brush kind of go curved and loopy. Okay, and I'm just going over this a few strokes. Um, I don't want to over blend it because then it will turn into a solid color. So I want to be kind of careful with that. So the next step, um, we're going to do the lines on the ice cream cone. And I'm going to dip my brush in the, the white and the tight uh, bleached titanium. So I apologize for that. I did rinse my brush. Um, it just got cut off with the video editing. Um, but with the tip of that 12 flat brush dipped in both of those colors, I'm doing um, the lines that are going kind of curved diagonally one way. I'm going to go back the other way and do the same thing. So they're kind of crisscrossing each other. And my line got kind of thick right there, um, but that turned out okay. So um, that's what I did to make the texture lines on the ice cream cone. Okay. So then I decided to go ahead and paint a few more drippings here. So we have um, the ice cream is melting and it would be this color that is melting on the bottom and it's dripping down and there's one little splat of ice cream that hit the bottom of the painting. So that's kind of a fun thing that you can add. Okay, so really this, the rest of this is just kind of decorating, adding the, the sprinkles. This is a black paint pen and I'm doing the, the cherry. So I did the cherry stem with a black paint pen. If you don't have a paint pen, um, you can use uh, your tiniest brush that you have to do that. And then for the red sprinkles, I use the back of my paint brush because it creates these perfect little dots with primary red. So I'm just stamping on these red sprinkles that are on top of my chocolate syrup. And then um, that brown should be dry. So if it's not dry, you may want to uh, get a blow dryer and dry it real quick before you do all the sprinkles and stuff because we don't want any of that to blend in with colors underneath that are not dry, dry yet. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing the little stamps and I did the same thing with the chocolate chips on the mint chocolate chips. So this is um, burnt sienna and I'm stamping little dots and kind of clusters. And the dots are not all the same size. Some are kind of larger, some are smaller, and that's dependent on how hard. So if I press really hard, I get a bigger circle. If I press kind of softly, I get a smaller circle. Okay, so um, for the vanilla ice cream, I did some pink sprinkles with a paint pen. So this is the uh, Posca paint pens. They're water-based paint pens that work really great on canvas paintings because they're super opaque. So I did that. And again, if you don't have the paint pen, you can use a 10-0 liner in a medium magenta for that. Um, or you can do rainbow sprinkles. You can totally customize this and make it all different. Okay, so I'm back to my brush. I'm using a round brush and I'm going to do some highlights. I'm going to start with this cherry so that red is going to pop nicely with that highlight. And I'm going to do some more highlights here. So I'm going to do, um, this is just pure titanium white with the round brush, the number four round brush. And I'm um, just doing these kind of curved lines here and there 
this kind of makes the ice cream um, adds to the fluffiness of it it gets it to pop a little bit against that bright rainbow background okay so that's what I'm doing I'm not doing it just on one side of the scoop I'm doing it on both sides and the top and the bottom um, try not to overdo the highlights and that is it for this tutorial. I am finished with what I am adding. So if you wanted to add other things to your ice cream, feel free to do that. But this tutorial video is coming to its conclusion. Thank you for watching and painting a fun summer theme ice cream cone painting with me.